Welcome back, ladies and gents. We're on Drive Club again, and I wanted to try the second part of the DLC, which is the last DLC, which is Ram. Now I'm fucking depressed. Fuck you, Sony. So today we are driving the Jaguar XJ2020. This thing is a classic monster. Absolute beast. We tried in Forza Horizon 2, and I absolutely love this car. It was so much fun to drive. And as you know, Drive Club, intense wise, is one of the most intense games I've ever played in my life. So are you ready, my friends? You'll, you'll probably remember if you've been to for a while that Hennessy Venom video where I kind of pooed myself. So let's let's give this a go, shall we? Jump into it. Let's get into it. Come on, get get into get into your seat. He's getting in the he's getting on on the proper side. See, Drive Club does it on the proper we're on the proper side for this. That's what I miss. There's things on the door. Is there anywhere else we could have gone? If your answer is yes, you're a liar. We're in Scotland. We've got signs to go over 60 miles an hour on this road. Uh, that was probably the fucking most dreadful accent you've ever had in your life. Well, let's go. I just hold the handbrake. I don't, I don't care if the battery's low. I just charged it like yesterday. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Look at this cockpit view. Look at that like sun visor there. That's freaking awesome. Oh my God. No. Shit. What kind of guy goes over 70 miles an hour in his first bloody gear? Like, I, I get terrified going up to bloody 10 in my first gear for crying out loud. But what the thing, what the hell is this made? It's made of magic, Theo. I know. It's so annoying because look at the detail in this interior and just look at the detail of the car. And you know they spent so much time working on this car and they knew it was going to be the last one they could do. I can't play this game properly anymore without feeling sad. I, I launched the game and I feel sad. Like... <laughs> It's so depressing. You know that this is the last car that's been added to the game that we're going to try. Obviously, we tried the, uh, the, the, what the, what the, the Regera. That's it. We tried the Regera, and that was so much fucking fun to drive. And now we've got this, and this, this is it. This is it. This, this is, Sony, what the fuck? We're going one last hurrah, though. So we're going to do one more lap on this quick test run, and then we're going to do a race against someone. We haven't done that in a while. We haven't raced against anyone because, let's be fair, the only reason I do it... Look at that. It just turns... Not at all! Shit, okay. I think... I think I'm ready. All righty, then. Let's see how these noobs do, because they can't go up to 70 miles an hour in their first gear, can they? No. But their gearing is probably much more, well, modern and practical. But we're gonna see. We got one sit. We're taking the SLS Black already. One of my favorite all-time cars, as you all know, if you've been a fan for a while. It's just, I, I would love to, I've never seen, I say I've never seen an, uh, an SLS before. I've never seen an SLS Black before. I've never seen an R34 before and I want to buy one. So to be fair, that's the case with me. All cars that I want to actually aim to aspire to get, I've never seen before in my life. Here's a fun fact for you. Smoking past all this AI as if it's nothing. You don't even know. Of course, I am a speed demon. It's my qualification. My, what is your qualification? What qualifications did you get at school for this job? What makes you think you can get this job? I was a speed demon at school. I was like Usain Bolt. Yes, but you're applying for a job as a cleaner. How will that be useful? I can run to your job and be there on time before time and start working early for you, overtime for free. I don't know what I'm fucking talking about. This this is what happens. This is what happens. We've got a cheeky vet over there trying to pull on me. Mate, mate, what do you think you're doing? I need to be really careful with that. For God's sake, I'm in hardcore mode, so I'm now limited to about two miles an hour. Look at that wing. Holy jeebus. That's one of the cars we haven't bought, so I might actually buy that car to do a video on it. Let me know if you want to see that by leaving a like and letting me know down in the comments. Should you drive, Theo, should you drive the SLS with the big one? I don't, I don't know. I don't, sorry, mate. Goodbye, baby. I love you. Look at it. It's so aggressive and horrible. Not, not my car. I'm talking about that one. We're speaking about every other car in this video. But this, this thing feels like, I don't know, ahead of its time. And you say that, it, it's not massively quick, but at the same time, it's actually, well, I say that. At its time, it was massively quick. And and it still kind of is to the day. It's kind of weird how we don't push so much with top speed now, what we don't really need to. The thing is, <laughs> obviously, there's only so much push on it because, yeah, you want to go faster. But the, the speed, like the highest speed limit I've ever seen in my life is 70 miles an hour, which is in the UK, obviously. I think it's like 80 in some places in the world. I don't know. You're, you're not, 
you're not supposed to, basically. All right, you're not supposed to. Whereas I guess that's why they go with acceleration, because you're legally allowed to, you know, speed when you're going onto the motorway or something, right? You've got to get to 70 as quick as- But that's a fucking wall! I don't know why, but it's so difficult to commentate and play this game at the same time. Probably a little bit easier with the wheel. From the stream, I actually found that as well, but this game requires much more concentration than most games that I play, which is the crew and Need for Speed, which are more, like, full-on arcade- Like, this is a track racer, you're not supposed to hit the wall. And of those games, you can get away with hitting everything in sight and still win, so... You know, I, I say that, look at the state of me fucking car. I promise I'm not playing Motorstorm. It's a real damn shame that this game is coming to an end though, like... I don't know. I was expecting this game to just live on until like they made another one. Or like a massive expansion pack that people But Look at it, it's pulling skids! It's pulling skid- There we go, now we're going off-road again. To the finish, first place foot drag. First place foot drag, there we go, cross the line. But as I said, this this marks the the final card of DLC really new deal the new card that you probably haven't seen before in the game that I'm gonna play, which really fucking sucks. But we've got no one to blame but Sony for that. So thanks Sony, you fucking knobs. So if you want to see more Drive Club on the channel, please be sure to let me know. Leave a like. Let me know if you want me to drive that crazy. What what was it? I can't. It's Mercedes AMG GT3. That's what I'm thinking of. So let me know if you want to see me drive that. I could buy it. It's actually quite cheap. Give it, a, give it a quick run with the wheel or not. Let me know. Subscribe if you are new and we'll see you guys. I'll look at that XJ2020 at the bottom of the fucking move. Peace.